All right, and finally we have the uh, lower level of the house at 32 Runnymede. And uh, you'll notice that the basement stairs are open to the uh, living room, dining room, kitchen, uh, adding to that open concept feel. And the uh, stairs are actually really wide. These are three feet wide, uh, which is uh, plenty wide to bring down your, uh, your furniture, uh, what have you. Uh, lots of space, which is really nice. The height down here is about six and a half feet, which is great for a tall guy like me. Uh, you've got a room for, for uh, rec space set up. You can watch the game, go Leafs go. Uh, and uh, a little extra space there for an office. Or this area could be a great uh, kids' playroom as well. Uh, you've got the electrical panel over there, which was replaced recently. Um, storage underneath the stairs. Good storage in the house. Uh, this bathroom was also renovated. Uh, a few years back with the uh, pot lights and everything that you see going on here. So a really nice renovation down here as well. Love these tiles. These are heated floors, by the way. Uh, nice, uh, nice finishes down here, modern, clean, uh, really great space. So a three piece bathroom down here in addition to the one upstairs. And then you've got the uh, furnace room here, laundry room. Uh, these are uh, five years old, four years old uh, laundry machines as well as the furnace. The furnace AC and duct work was all replaced in 2015 as well. So um, lots of work done here. Check the feature sheet for a list of upgrades and when they were done and a bit of extra storage there as well. So that is the, uh, the tour of 32 Runnymede. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I hope you'll come check it out because this is a beautiful house and uh, I think it's really going to go quickly. Uh, just the level of uh, renovations, the, the bright natural light, the beautiful backyard as I, I showed you, and just the convenience of this neighborhood with parks nearby, the subway, shopping, great schools, uh, just a really, really awesome house. And I encourage you to come check it out. And again, uh, the Ukrainian festival is happening on Bloor Street this weekend. Uh, another great feature of the neighborhood. Uh, so if you are gonna come and check it out, please uh, make sure you leave time to get here. And uh, I hope to see you soon. Take care.